And yesterday, Oklahoma State head coach Mike Gundy came under fire from his star running back, Chuba Hubbard, after a photo surfaced of Gundy wearing an OAN T-shirt. OAN, for those who don't know, stands for One America News, which is a far-right news network. Hubbard tweeted in response to this photo, quote, I will not stand for this. This is completely insensitive, <coughs> pardon me, to everything going on in society, and it's unacceptable. I will not be doing anything with Oklahoma State until things change. Various other players supported Hubbard on social media. The athletic director, Mike Holder, released a statement saying, This afternoon has been very disturbing. The tweets from the current and former players are of grave concern. Soon after all of that, Gundy and Hubbard appeared together in this video. In light of today's tweet with the uh, T-shirt I was wearing, um, I uh, I've met with uh, some players and uh, realized it's a very sensitive issue with what's going on uh, in today's society. And so we had a great meeting and uh, made aware of some things that uh, players feel like that can make our organization, our culture even better than it is here at Oklahoma State. And I'm looking forward to making some changes and it starts at the top with me and we got good days ahead. I'll start off by first saying that I went, around, I went about it the wrong way by tweeting. I'm not someone that, you know, has to you know, tweet something to break change. I should have went to him as a man and I'm, all, I'm more about action. So that was bad on my part. But from now on, we're gonna focus on bringing change and that's the most important thing. Now, many people noted on Twitter that Hubbard apologized and Gundy did not. Hubbard then tweeted this, no, don't get it twisted. Foot still on the gas, results are coming, it's not over. So Marcus continues with us and Paul Feinbaum joins us this morning as well. Marcus, what was your reaction to all of this yesterday? Well, it, it's a part of the, the evolution of the athlete to me, and I keep uh, going back to that, G. We talk about it with name, image, and likeness. We talked about it with the NCAA and all of this. This is a part now where what you represent is going to matter, especially when you talk about these college head coaches. It was pushes for a lot of these guys to come out and, and talk about the things that were going on in this country as far as injustices, and players are holding them accountable now. Um, ma majority of these coaches that are white coach black players, these issues affect them gravely. Um, they know people, they come from those type of communities that have been underserved and been racially profiled. So it's not just about the head coaches understanding the guy that they have on campus. It's about the coaches understanding where these guys come from and how they see things. And look, majority of the coaches, I would, I would say, I would like to believe, um, take these issues very seriously and have these type of conversations with their players. They understand the demographic and the places that they come from. But when you have something that, that is against or you have something that offends the majority of the players on your team, um, you have to address it. And I think Chubba did that. I don't believe he should have apologized for making it public. I guess that's the culture we're in now. I'm a guy that prefer if I know you personally, I reach out to you personally, but that's not how a lot of people are doing it now. But outside of that, I think it was right for him to call uh, Mike Gundy out on something that he thought was against what was happening and what they were trying to do and was offensive, and Gundy was right for responding to it. Paul, what did you think? I thought the wrong person apologized. Uh, Chubb was just expressing his, his frustration with his head coach in the middle uh, of a major national and international crisis wearing a T-shirt uh, of a network that I must admit I've never seen, but I've read enough about. And, and a commentator on that network recently said that Black Lives Matter is a farce. So I can understand the frustration uh, of players. What I can understand is why Mike Gundy uh, has been allowed to continue to coach at Oklahoma State. This is not his first rodeo. This is not the first time he has embarrassed, if not humiliated, that university. And I think the sooner that Oklahoma State gets rid of Mike Gundy, the better it's going to be for that school, and especially the players who, who go out there every Saturday and give their, their blood, sweat, and tears for that university. Please continue with that thought. I, I, that's the only follow-up question I can think of is, why do you believe all the things you just said, Paul? Because I find them fascinating. Because I have watched Mike Gundy over the years. I mean, the only meaningful thing he has contributed uh, to Oklahoma State 
during his uh, tenure there of 15 years is doing the I'm, I'm 40 and I'm a man uh, 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 video a couple of years ago, that uh, 10 years ago, that went viral. Other than that, he has not been that great of a coach. He's 2-13 and 13 against Oklahoma, uh, the University of Oklahoma. Try going 2-13 and 13 against your rival and continuing as a head coach. But that's not really the issue here. The, the issue is his insensitivity. Uh, he humiliated the school two months ago when he laughed off uh, COVID-19. Basically, he said, let's bring the players back. There's too much money at stake here. Um, and, and he has not changed that at all. He continues to embarrass this school every time he opens his mouth. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.